Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has successfully passed the Center of Curvature Test at Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. This important optical measurement of Webb's fully assembled primary mirror was the final test held at Goddard before the telescope is shipped off for end-to-end -end cryogenic testing at Johnson Space Center at Houston. When that's complete, the world's most advanced observatory goes to Northrop Grumman Aerospace Systems in Redondo Beach, California for final assembly and testing. Webb is targeted for launch in 2018 on a mission to help unravel some of the greatest mysteries of the universe. A new movie sequence of images captured by NASA's Cassini spacecraft shows the view during its first dive between Saturn and its rings on April 26th. The movie, which comprises about an hour of observations as the spacecraft moved southward, shows the swirling vortex at the planet's north pole and the outer boundary of Saturn's hexagon-shaped jet stream. Other data from the initial dive indicates the region through which Cassini traveled appears to be relatively dust-free. This was the first of 22 such dives as part of Cassini's grand finale, before the mission ends in September. On May 1st, NASA officials visited Ingersoll Machine Tools in Rockford, Illinois, where machining is well underway on the Orion spacecraft that is scheduled to fly on Exploration Mission 2, the second integrated flight with the agency's Space Launch System rocket. NASA's Deputy Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, William Hill, Orion Program Manager Mark Kirsich, and astronaut Rex Walheim toured the facility and commended employees for their work. Orbital ATK recently completed a successful hot fire test of the Orion spacecraft's launch abort system attitude control motor at the company's facility in Elkton, Maryland. This milestone was part of a test series required to qualify the motor for crewed missions. The motor is designed to steer astronauts inside Orion to safety in the unlikely event of an emergency during launch. Engineers at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia are using the center's 14 by 22 foot subsonic wind tunnel to understand how environmental factors affect the second generation space launch system rocket. The testing is designed to improve crew safety. On SLS's second mission with Orion, the rocket is expected to send astronauts around the moon to verify technologies and capabilities needed for deep space missions, including Mars. Students from about 23 colleges in six states participated recently in the NASA Community College Aerospace Scholars Program at Johnson Space Center. The students, who were mentored by NASA engineers, worked on team projects, competed in a rover competition, attended technical briefings, and toured facilities. The program encourages students to complete a two-year degree or transfer to a four-year university to pursue a field or career in science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov slash twan.